the first human being that jumped off a precipice with wings. He died, and his brother-in-law wrote, next time, make the wings larger. <laughs> no one starts out right away and solves a problem, unless you have a tremendous background in many different areas. Well, the next guy that jumped off, he jumped off with the larger wings, and he flew a little and then went. And the old fisherman said, you got to brace them wings, like a boat, like a man. They're not going to hold, so they braced it. And then they jumped off the precipice, this individual, and he flew, and he hit a tree. And he hurt his leg real badly. And his wife said, you know, John, a fish has a rudder. Good point. And they stuck the rudder on the airplane. No one ever sat down and invented a television set, an airplane, the electric light, wireless. None of that came about by men walking in and deep concentration. And then through some ethereal substance, bingo, the idea is formulated. It doesn't work that way. It's hard work. And I make more mistakes than anybody I know because I try more things. There's nothing wrong with building something and finding out that it doesn't work. This is where you get your experience. There's nothing wrong with criticism. I remember the first model airplanes I built went nosing into the ground, and I was ashamed of them. And uh, a young engineer told me that my center of gravity had to be corrected, that is, move the wing forward. And so all of us stand on the shoulders of one another and we shape the future.